It is my favorite time of year. It's football season. And today I'm going to bring you three really easy but yummy recipes that you can serve for your tailgating or if you're having people over to watch football or if you just want to make it just to make it, even if you don't love football. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. All three of them are somewhat savory dishes. And then I'm going to show you a really easy way to save on calories if you still are kind of craving something sweet afterwards. To get started today, I'm going to get my first appetizer or my first football food in the crock pot. This is just barbecue and beer meatballs. That sounds so good. We need about a cup of barbecue sauce. Okay, so I pretty much had a cup left. I'm gonna set this upside down here on the side while we grab our beer. Now we don't need this entire beer. We just need about a third a cup. You can use whatever beer you like. The recipe does not specify. Let's get the rest of our barbecue sauce out. Okay, let's just stir this to combine. I don't usually like the smell of beer. I'm not a beer drinker, but I tell you what, mixed with the barbecue sauce, that smells really good. I'm using my smaller crock pot today, not because I really wanted to, but I totally forgot that my larger crock pot I left at church. Um, we used it last Sunday and I left it there thinking I would go back during the week and pick it up and I forgot. I've got a 26 ounce bag of meatballs. These are the larger meatballs, it's up to you. You can do the smaller ones if you want to. I just prefer the larger ones for this type of thing. And we're just gonna pour our barbecue sauce and beer combo over top. We're just gonna put the lid on this and cook this on high for a couple of hours. That will give it time to cook while I'm making my other dishes. Before we move on to our next two recipes, I did want to thank Catalina Crunch for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So here's the deal, y'all. I'm making three recipes today that are very savory and very indulgent. And sometimes, even after I'm pretty full on those types of recipes, I do still want something sweet afterwards. A snack I've been enjoying for a couple of months now are the Catalina Crunch cookies. Catalina Crunch believes that no one should ever have to choose between tasty and healthy, and that's why they're nothing less than obsessed with creating snacks that are both delicious and low carb, high protein. I'm gonna be very honest with you. When I got these for the first time, I thought I'm probably not gonna like these. They're not loaded with sugar and carbs. There's no way they're gonna be good. I was wrong. I've been snacking on them for quite some time. Let me tell you, there is one gram of sugar in each cookie. One gram. And they are not packing them full of artificial sweeteners. They also have four grams of protein and it's made from plant protein and other clean ingredients. You'll notice on here it says it is keto friendly. These are keto friendly because as far as carbs go, there's only five grams of net carbs. So if you compare this to another very popular cookie that looks very similar, one gram of sugar, the other brand that y'all all know what I'm talking about, 14 grams of sugar. I find myself grabbing one or two of these cookies pretty much every afternoon. I'm craving something a little sweet. And even though there's only one gram of sugar in each cookie, y'all, they do not taste bland at all. My favorite flavor is the chocolate mint. I just, I love anything chocolate and mint together. These are hands down my favorite. Eating the chocolate mint cookies reminds me of a certain time of year when you order a certain flavor of cookies from a young girls association. <laughs> it's always been my favorite flavor of cookie and I love that this one I can enjoy guilt-free. They have four different flavors for you to choose from. They have peanut butter cookies, vanilla cream, chocolate mint, my favorite, and chocolate vanilla. And you can also get a variety pack that has all four flavors. The four flavors were inspired by four nostalgic favorites from our childhood, and they taste nearly identical. These cookies really are bridging the gap to a satisfying sweet treat that is plant-based, low sugar, low carb, and deliciously delightful. Catalina Crunch is the fastest growing keto-friendly snack brand according to Business Insider from 2021. They have over 10,000 five-star reviews, so you totally need to check it out and see why. So be sure to check my description box below. I'll have a link there. When you use that link and use the code MANDY, you're gonna get 15% off of your order plus free shipping. Feel free to go on there and browse their whole website. They have other keto-friendly snacks as well. But if you're looking for a snack that is not loaded with sugar and carbs, this is the one for you to check out. So use code MANDY at checkout using the link below and you'll get 15% off and free shipping. So once you've made all of your goodies and you want something sweet, you can lay these cookies out and not feel guilty whatsoever for having one or two or three. Let's keep the fun rolling. This is a chicken bacon ranch crescent ring. 
I recently made like a taco type ring out of crescent rolls. Today we're doing a chicken bacon ranch. To get started, let's preheat our oven to 375. I'm shredding cheese. She's very aware. So to prep, I just chopped up two cups of rotisserie chicken and I fried five or six slices of bacon and chopped that up. I already shredded my cheese. Everything else is ready to go. The fun part comes in where I need melted butter and then I also am instructed in the in instructions to microwave something, but our microwave is dead. We have a new one on order, but it's not here yet. So we're gonna go old fashioned and do it right here on the stove. You need a couple of tablespoons of butter melted, so let's melt that. While we wait on our butter to melt, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on our crescent ring. So you're gonna make pretty much a starburst shape on a pizza stone or some big round bakeware that you have. You need two cans of this crescent roll dough. Our butter is melted. Let's just add it here to this dish and just set it to the side for now. I'm not even gonna worry about wiping it out. We're gonna add this entire container of chive and onion cream cheese. Now you're gonna just microwave yours. This is not going to heat in here for long. It's just to really make this soft. Now I'm just gonna add in a fourth a cup of milk and one tablespoon of ranch seasoning powder. And I don't know if I mentioned this, this is the chive and onion cream cheese spread. So if you have a microwave, you're just gonna microwave all of this together for 20 to 30 seconds. That is good and smooth. Now let's go assemble. I've got this large bowl here, I'm just setting it right in the middle of my crescent ring. Let's add our two cups of cubed or chopped chicken. Yeah. Half a cup of chopped cooked bacon. And I've got some sliced green onions here. I'm gonna add about half of this now, so about a fourth a cup. And we're gonna pour this cream cheese mixture over top. Now we're just gonna spoon this mixture here in the middle of each crescent thing. So basically right here around the center of the ring, we're gonna just fill in with the chicken bacon ranch mixture. Guess what I forgot? We're just gonna go in, just sprinkle the cheese over top. You're supposed to mix in the cheese along with your chicken bacon ranch and I totally forgot. It'll be fine. This is just one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Now the really easy part, pull each of the little triangles over and kind of tuck it underneath. Some of the mixture is still going to show and that's totally fine. Now that that's done, we're gonna grab our melted butter and we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder in with it. That was just about a quarter of a teaspoon and we're just gonna brush this over the tops. This is going in a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. This just came out of the oven and it looks and smells so good. What you're gonna do is just let it rest for a little bit before you cut it up and then you will top it with the remainder of the green onions. And then you of course can always serve it with ranch as a dipping sauce too if you would like, but oh man, I wish y'all could smell this. It's time for our third and final recipe. This one sounds so good. We're gonna be serving it with some pita chips. This is a tomato basil pizza dip. If your oven isn't already on, preheat it to 350. So in this small bowl, we're gonna add eight ounces of tomato sauce, a teaspoon of minced garlic. I have a couple of tablespoons of fresh basil that I chopped up. We're gonna add about half of that into here. I've got a teaspoon of sugar, and then you just add as much salt and pepper as you'd like. Let's just stir this to combine, and we're gonna set it to the side. I've got a pie plate here. You need a nine inch. I think mine's a 10 inch, but it's gonna be okay. And you want your cream cheese somewhat softened. Mine is probably not, so this could be comical. We'll see. You've got one eight ounce block of cream cheese. You wanna spread it all around the bottom of your pie plate. Yeah, mine is not very softened. <laughs> this is gonna take a minute. Talk amongst yourselves, I'll be back. Ideally, I would have a microwave that I could soften it in. Can we just chat for a second about how appliances don't last nearly as long as they used to? My mom had the same microwave for my entire childhood. Refrigerators, all the things lasted forever. Like I just need a basic microwave though. I don't need it to do all the fancy things. Now we're just gonna pour this sauce on top. Now I've got a cup of mozzarella cheese. We're just gonna sprinkle that over top. You need about a half a cup of chopped Roma tomatoes. Mine was just one large Roma tomato and that was plenty. Let's sprinkle the rest of our basil on top. And we're gonna top it with just a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. That's it. That is a simple dip. 
This is going in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. Now I'm just gonna start plating everything up. I use my pizza cutter to cut these crescent rolls. It just makes it so much easier. Oh my gosh, y'all. My house smells so good. I wish there was football on today. This is a Friday, so there's no football. As far as the taste test goes, you just got me for now. Steven is working right now, so I'm going to try each of the three of these. I'm gonna go in to the pizza, tomato, basil dip first. Oh my goodness, that is so good. It is so cheesy. That basil though, that makes it. The cream cheese adds that sweetness, and then we added a teaspoon of sugar in there too, but it's not a sweet dish. It's definitely savory but it cuts through that tomato sauce so it's not too acidic. Y'all, that is delicious. I love the tomatoes on here. Oh, that's really good. Now I'm gonna try the chicken bacon ranch crescent ring. If you've been around for a while, you know our favorite sliders are the chicken bacon ranch sliders. This reminds me of that. The cream cheese in it that has the chive and onion, that is the perfect addition to this. I went and got a little bit of ranch dressing from the fridge just because I'm out I'm going to eat one last thing to try and that is the barbecue beer meatballs they smell so good man that is good I love the flavor of that barbecue sauce along with the beer make all of this one Sunday or Saturday Saturday depending on college NFL make it everyone will be super thankful after all of the savory things, I do want something sweet, so I'm going to choose one of these cookies. If you click that link and use the code MANDY, you are gonna save 15% off of your order and you're gonna get free shipping. I recommend trying them all. They're all great. The chocolate mint is my favorite, but they're all really great. Thank you again to Catalina Crunch for sponsoring today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give all three recipes a try. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that red subscribe button before you go. Thanks y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye. And then I'm gonna show you a really way to, a really way? Our mark, our, <clears throat> I can talk. Our microwave is dead. And I've got some sliced green, I almost said olives. I knew I would make a mess because why not? touchdown dance mm -hmm. or a chicken dance <laughs> why, why, oh we do that dude <laughs> um, yeah you on my nerve is what you are i ain't never been on nobody's nerve nerve i've already put it up in the fridge y'all and he's just pulling it out of the fridge so he's not eating it hot whoa that's good what is this cheese ricotta nope it's cream cheese That's cream cheese? That's cream cheese. Wow. I don't mind if I do. It's good stuff, ain't it? Holy smoke. Give me one. I'm going to try one. That is good. That's See, hard. you didn't want to be on camera, you uh, jack leg. I'm sorry. That is hard <gasps> to believe that that's cream cheese. I'm gonna, I know. I'm not going to like it now because it's cream cheese. Oh, gosh. Oh, right? yeah. That is really good. Well, I'm so glad you love it. My mind has changed. Okay, so now he's gonna try the barbecue beer meatballs and Cole is trying a chicken bacon ranch crescent roll. All of this has been in the fridge. They're just eating it cold. Welcome to my life. This is what they do. Very smoky. Yes, very smoky. Yeah. Very smoky, I love that. Mm -hmm. All it is is just barbecue sauce mixed with a little bit of beer. Wow really really good flavor yeah it's not your it's not the same barbecue no jelly flavor right that it's very different sweet you know the grape jelly and the barbecue it's not like that it's yep. like okay chicken bacon more, ranch a lot more hickory barbecue flavor in there all right here we go what's this called chicken bacon ranch uh-huh crescent ring Ooh. mm-hmm 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 mm. So just different texture, right? Yes. So I'm thinking chicken bacon ranch slider. Right. Completely different. No, yeah. And it's just creamier. It's got it's creamier got sort of. chive and onion cream cheese. Yeah, yeah. So it's creamier, great flavor. Bacon's coming through. Definitely get the ranch flavor yeah. and everything in there. So yeah, 
Did some good. You did good. I did do good. If I don't say so myself. Mm. I'm oh, dropping stuff. Spilling stuff on the on the ground. All right. Y'all yeah. hear the dishwasher going? I still have all of that to wash. It, it's it's a busy day. That's my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite too. Then that. Yep. Then, this. then that. Yep. yep. All right. You did good. <laughs> you guys need to try this for sure. Yes. That's it. <laughs>